others who look like you and me All for one to save humanity Fighting off the evil virus entities It's now or never Be for long The darkness will arrive Transforming all humans in virus like demons Aliens Enemies of the whole free world Destroyers of the planet Here goes nothing. I hope my powers work inside this thing. It had never occurred to me that I could alter an automobile and use it as an extension of my body. I guess Dad is anticipating that we'll discover more about our powers in this virtual reality simulator he's constructed. Now, let's see how this virus likes a taste of its own medicine. Photon! What? Not even a thank you? What do you think of my new wheels? Unbelievable! What made you think you even had that kind of power? Call it an intuition. When the virus enveloped that car, I figured maybe I could do it too. Now the car has the same powers I do. It can shoot photon beams and everything. We'll have to tell the others. First we need to defeat these viruses, and then I want to try that little trick out for myself. <laughs> This doesn't look promising. I had a feeling the viruses were plotting something, and they waited till the right moment. They can plot all they want. We'll never back down. Come on, guys! That won't be easy. They've got speed on their side now. If only... Uh-huh. Huh? There's something familiar about those cars. Diamer discovered a new power. If we simply touch a vehicle, we can take it over. Wow. Talk about perfect timing. Look! All right, guys, chit-chat is over. Time to take care of business. Sweet rides, huh? The guy could get used to this. Let's do this. Yahoo! <laughs> Sobron, let's finish the game. Fluster Ray, the cursed mutant has melted my engine. He's more powerful than I thought. I need to dispose of this vehicle. The virus has been incapacitated. Now it's up to me to finish him off. Stretch. <laughs> Yeah. 
Did you see what they did, Neela? They discovered a brand new power. The virtual zone is already paying dividends. With time, they'll realize their full potential, Edward. I hope they'll take what they've learned in the virtual zone and use that new knowledge in the field. This place is huge. I wonder how big my room will be. Here we go. Would you look at that? Boy, he really did think of everything, that dad of yours. Huh? Huh? Finally, each of us has a little privacy. Hmm. Ah, another crummy move. I certainly hope this is the last one. Well, I'm already settled in. Hey, George, get a move on, Slowpoke. Ah, mm. uh, leave him alone. He's not used to the nomadic life. Am I right, George? Huh? Well, that's enough for me. I think I deserve a little break. Break? We've got work. Yeah, I know, but there's just a little something I have to do, so I'll see you boys later. Don't get in any trouble. <laughs> huh? oh, wow. What, do you have a date or something? Oh, don't be silly. I forgot something. <laughs> hmm. Who could Alice have a date with? <laughs> hey, George, I... Oh, man, I wonder what he's hurrying off to. See what you get with this one. Another virus composed of pollutants, alien DNA, and human DNA. It seems like lately we keep finding the same molecular structure. It is indeed a strange combination. And what puzzles me is how the human DNA got into these viruses in the first place. That's the big mystery. And it's why when viruses come into contact with humans, they transform them. It seems that the DNA is compatible. The alien DNA is dominant, but why and what makes this happen? You think that's the key? If we can unlock the secret, that's our solution. Edward, do you have a hypothesis? Remember when Mark transformed? When the first virus is struck, it took a few minutes for the alien DNA to infect Mark's body. What happens to the body during that transformation is the key to unraveling this whole mystery. Why do the viruses have strands of human DNA? What could it mean? Hmm. Maybe injecting a large dose of human DNA into a virus would have the opposite effect. Mm-hmm. What have we got to lose? We might as well try it to see if it works, Edward. General Nimmergaard, there is a fishing boat dead ahead! Why do you think you could waste my time with such nonsense? Well... Sink it and let the ocean claim its spoils! Yeah. Over the side. <sighs> a battleship filled with viruses! We're under attack! You've got to raise the anchor, man, and get us out of here! We're no match for a carrier of that size. We have no choice but to abandon ship. Everyone, man the lifeboats! Get the lifeboats ready now! Hurry! I told 
told them I'd be here to pick them up. And of course, they're late again. I knew it! She's meeting someone! Now I'm getting nervous. Where are they? That's just like them to make me wait. I guess nothing's changed. Seems nervous about this guy. Now I'll get a good look at this creep. What's going on here? Oh, of course, those must be the brothers she always talks about. Oh, they've come to the big city for a visit. Hey, hey Alice. Great to see How's you. It going? How you doing? So good to yeah. see you. Ah, thank goodness. I don't need any more competition. Well, these should be all the tools I need right here. Now I'll have to think about dimensions. Let me see here, I... Uh... Edward, what are you doing? If we want to try a reverse transformation, we'll have to capture a virus to use as a test subject. And the only way we can do that is to make sure we have a secure trap. And hope it works. Edward, that's too dangerous. There's no telling what kind of risk you might be taking. We're beyond that. This is all a risk. This will be good practice for what you viruses will be facing on land. Sink that ship! No mercy!